there once was a level forged in the fires of sweaty hands and sweatier loins, designed with the express purpose of torturing a sweet little Swedish boy. But the creator, in his hubris, drove the boy too far. He twisted his mind and his will in strained, wicked knots of hate and despair. Oh cool, so the level is impossible. Oh, the, this is balls. This is balls. By the time the boy had defeated the level, he would never be the same. In his madness, he set out to punish its creator, and he would do so with a level of his own. Something no sane man would dare impose on himself. But this was no sane man. Simple Flips was about to undergo. C. B. T. Alright. Joel's level. Joel the easy level. <laughs> what if I'm on it for like five hours? That'd be fucked up. You can't beat the spicy challenge. Zero clears. Okay. What? What? <laughs> I should have been. Yeah, if you guys know shit about this level, don't tell me. It's only fair that I figure it out on my own. Boomba. Oh. I don't know if I actually needed that, but I probably did. I think I needed it. Maybe I can unspawn him. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Okay, so... Do I need to get the star and then come back here? What the fuck's down there? I, I can't- There's a pipe down there. Okay, I'm gonna get the star and then go down there. Oh my god. There's no way I'm going fast enough. I- There's no way that that's a thing. Because Joel- Think about it. Could Joel have made it here in time? <laughs> uh, let's set realistic goals for ourselves, okay? <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I- I think- I think I'm fucked. Oh my god. Oh, I could do that. I could I could do that and then just chase the shell. This is a, a question for babies and I've already solved it. Give me one. Alright. I think I... Well, let's see. I probably need all the red... What the fuck is this? What are these spikes? Alright, I'm going in the door. I don't like that. They're laughing at me. I think I need all these red coins. Oh, pipe solid. What if I don't need the red coins? That would be pretty masterful. All right, I gotta operate on the assumption that I don't need the red coins until I know that I do. I gotta learn the level without the red coins. God damn it. There has to be an easier way. They didn't die that time. Okay, this is fine. How did he make this? Five to six hours is realistic? There's no way it takes me that long. Legit, it could. I don't think so. Like, like, jokes aside, I could see- I'm going into someone's mouth. I could see it takes me, like, even a couple hours, but five hours. No way. No way. You can actually do this? I hate this. I now hate the level. <laughs> Why would you do this? This is CBT. Okay, this is gonna take a year. This is CBT. I fucked up. But do you actually need the red coins? Oh my god. What the fuck is that star even for? Yeah, come over here. Yeah, all of you guys come over here. Come back. No way you need these red coins. <laughs> There's no way Joel would have subjected himself to this these fucking Goombas for an hour. Per attempt. An hour per attempt. I'm I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to go on the assumption that you don't need him. Again. What? That was sick. They, they should be. Alright, whatever. Oh, they turn around. Okay. This level's making me sick to my stomach, dude. <laughs> I hate how stupid it is trying to jump on one of these. No! I'm mad. He really did make the worst level. Of all time. And I haven't even seen most of it. I'm I'm dead. Just kidding. Never die. <laughs> I 
I can't believe this section. I can't. I honestly, it's disgusting. I. It is one of the grossest things I've ever seen in all of Mario Maker. It is fucking gross. It is. It like makes me sick to my stomach looking at it. Am I having fun yet? I didn't even want to do this today. I was gonna do this tomorrow. All I know is every extra minute spent on this level is another five minutes of how awful my next level is gonna be for Joel. I hate this. Every meticulous waiting section that you could construct, it's there. God fucking damn it. <laughs> I can't believe this. Crush my cock with a rock I must. Maximum pain I must endure. Okay, here we go. Thank you, Wee Wee. Appreciate that. Appreciate the contribution to the stream. Wait, aren't these like pixel perfect now? Oh, at least I'm getting better at this. I accept that I probably need the red coins, but I might as well learn the level first and then fuck balls later. Ah! You can like stand really far off of these before you jump. That's that's what I'm gonna have to learn. Why is there a fire bar over here? You sh you fucking you shithead, shithead, shitter. That's what you are, Joel. So far, bike hitbox seem to be more strict when they're side by side in this game compared to Mario Maker One, but also more lenient when you're above them. Weird. Bikes fuck your ass in Mario Maker 1, and they kind of do in this game, but just in a different regard. Is that Joel's mouth I'm entering every time? What if I need the mushroom? What if I'm meant to keep the mushroom the whole time? There's no way, right? There's no way Joel has that in him. He just spent another 20 hours uploading this thing, right? Joel, it's fucking gross. I like it. Oh my god, you can walk up so far. Is that the same exact one I died on last time? So, god, I imagine I need the red coins. I feel like at 20 hours, I need them. Oh, I realize now what the mushroom troll is, if it even is one. <laughs> what? There's something out there? I must know something about this level. Distract myself from the current goal to go on to a new one. No, I must go up there. Ugh. Okay. There might be an easier one. No. I want a shell. Hey, I got a shell. I threw it way late. I just want to go up there, you know? I just want to see what's up there. Why is... Why? Why, why can't I time this? Fuck! How did that not work? <laughs> Fuck balls, dude. I gotta know what's up there. Yes, what's up here? Alright, I win. There's nothing up here. I could have been the first person to collect the happy face of coins. Oh! No! Why was I cool? I'm using my cool for nothing? No! I exited on accident. Ugh. I just saw something in the level thumbnail. There's a door down there with a magic hoop. What the fuck's going on down there? Do I even want to know? Dude. No! I'm, uh, I'm such a dipshit. I am max dipshit. Alright, let's take it easy. Play it smart. You know? No impatience. That's not how you beat a level like this. Oh my god. Every time you die there, it is the worst thing. I was thinking about a concept of letting that mushroom go in front of me. But I don't know what purpose that would serve, if any. God, I hope it's not actually something you have to do. No. I, do I see an ice block over there? Oh my god. Okay, I need to learn how to do this a bit quicker then. Neat. That's a neat concept. 
Why even? Why even have this here? <laughs> no, I I haven't been to the bottom in so long. Every every time I die in the spike maze, I am more and more inspired for what will be my big fuck you Joel masterpiece of a level. Hard to imagine I could uh, compete with this though. <laughs> I'm tempted to just fucking learn how to run through it and time my jumps. I don't know how well that'll work. <laughs> Draw the $100 reward for me. I'm not believing it unless he says it to me. I like the idea that me and Joel keep giving a hundred, the same $100 back to each other. That way if someone gives up on the other person's level, they don't get their money back. Fuck. I gave Joel 100 for being able to beat my Desert Bus level. Then he came up with what I imagine is probably the biggest insult to humanity. The worst thing we as a race have ever done. I understood these jumps for a bit, and now I can't do them anymore. <laughs> the fuck is this? I can't focus under these conditions. I... Oh my god. Oh my god. Luckily, I can understand backward speech perfectly. So if he says anything that's a useful hint, info downloaded. Make it stop, please. God, I can't focus. It's like I was going insane. Fuck! Alright. Small break. Practicing is cheating. Come on. I need I need something to look forward to. What do you mean you don't know how much it will help? I just need to quickly understand the technique. I need to know how far to run before I hit the jump button. And it takes a long fucking time to get back. How far can I stand over the edge? Pretty damn far. Pretty fucking far. A lot further than I thought you could. Further. Okay, maybe this isn't so hard. Still super easy to die, but like... Yeah, I think I found the visual reference that I'm gonna use. Yeah, this practice was definitely not useless. As long as I believe in the visual reference... I think I got this. But can I do it with ice? Ice is gonna be a different story. <laughs> I I I don't want to I don't want to think about that right now. I haven't gotten there yet, so worry about it later. Wait, please don't hit me. I wasn't even thinking about that at the time. Fuck, I didn't go far enough or something. I'm getting it. I'm getting there. Yeah, just knowing when to jump has helped a lot. I'm using Toadette's fat, disgusting stomach as the reference and lining it up with the block on the ground. <laughs> Fat shaming Toadette. Can you imagine a humanoid mushroom? Maybe I'm racist, but Toadette's disgusting. You guys clearly didn't watch the creepypasta eggs. Also, for some reason, the sprite in this game looks like Toadette's been down in beers, which is probably true due to the stress that these levels cause. It's her dress. I don't know. There's not enough pixels. There's like, there's like five pixels on the entire outfit, on the entire pixel art. Don't say dress. Does Toadette wear a dress? Oh, Joel hates me because of the desert bus level? Probably true. How could Joel ever hate me though? I'm so cute. My desert bus level is a goddamn masterpiece and taught many a people how the car works in this game. Oh my god, why am I turning back so soon and preventing myself from making the jump? Hey Sim, long story short, I got duct tape to my bedroom ceiling. I hate when the that happens. The good news is that I left your stream up, but it's upside down for me. Could you please make something like the bit cup or the face cam upside down for me? Yeah, I got you. Give me one moment. I'll just make an element of the stream that isn't that important upside down. Uh, I guess I could just make... Here you go, duct tape ceiling dude. Breast, breast. We are the breast. Michael, it's your titties today. Dude, I... I like hesitated. Welcome to the What's cum zone. Emotion? Only come inside anime girls. Quivering clit, double jointed pussy. My dick is in love with pain. Co-op cock torture. Stop.
Good song. Thank you. I'm looking forward to the next eight hours of watching this idiot try and beat this natural. Eight disaster. hours? You, not, you think I would have spent eight hours on this? Eight hours is a laughable joke. I fucking hate this game. <laughs> I hate everything Joel has ever done. I'm not even a Joel fan anymore. I don't care how funny he is. I wasn't ready for this today. I was not emotionally ready for this. I was gonna play dumb fuck toad Ocarina of Time game. Alright, I got here two times in a row. That, that, why am I dying there? What does the door down there lead to? You know what? Good question. What if I just did that? I need the. Uh, I, it looked. It 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 looked like I needed a mushroom or something. It looked like I needed a mushroom at the end of my fucking ad adventure. What? Nah, surely not. Surely not. There's no way. There's no way this gold dickhead got a mushroom all the way through there. Does this get me anything? This is the beginning of the level. Hee hee hee. Oh Imagine. man. I mean, I at least I didn't get all the red coins and then enter that pipe. So how could I ever get even get through there with a mushroom? Can I do this? No, that doesn't work. Jesus Christ. Is there really nothing down here? I can't believe it. Useless pipe. Okay, let's say the keys required. Sure. I gotta do all that shit. Because gold is really insane. <sighs> then where do I go? These are things I'm gonna need to find out. You know, this is a really fitting level name. I just gotta say. So I did see a bumper over here. Oh my god, please. A boot? What do I do with this? It was uh, somewhere over here. I like I like the placements of those bumpers. They're very volular, for lack of a better word. Is volular a word? Because it probably should be. Okay, now the question is... Do I even need whatever those blocks are down there? I'm just gonna jump to this pipe. What? Why are you here? Go away. Please don't kill me. No. I know where this is taking me. No. <laughs> Wait, this isn't where I thought it would take me. Wait, what? How do I get down there? Cheater! I what did what did I do? How am I a cheater? <laughs> Fuck. The shell jump is unintentional. I don't think that makes me a cheater. <laughs> oh, fuck. Look, if that's cheating, I'll beat it however Joel beat it. But if you think I'm not gonna try and learn the level and waste as little time as possible, you're wrong. Do you know how much valuable information I can get? If Joel genuinely jumped through all those fucking spikes with a mushroom, then for some reason I'll do it too. But nothing I am doing is cheating. I just did exactly what I would have done in any level. Look for a way to beat it. But until then, I'm gonna learn everything I can about the level. Because I'm not gonna fucking ever in my life get through this and then get trolled by something. If Joel wanted me to get trolled by something, he wouldn't have let me shell jump right here. Alright, I need to see what's in here. Oh, what? Why? Oh, I get it! No, I, I don't have to ask why. I, I completely understand. Forget that I asked why. Pretty fucking obvious to me. I'm disgusted that you have to get through there in the mushroom. Uh, what the fuck? Fun for the audience, I mean. Okay, so that's how you beat it. I knew it. 
cheese. You don't need the red coins at all. I'm so glad I learned this. But I just gotta get through the stupid mushroom thing. I can't believe Joel let that be in there. See, now that I know the level has devolved into get through there with a mushroom, I, I learned so much. So before I found the cheese and was able to look at the rest of the level, I had to complete this fucking insane thing that I couldn't do once. Learned I needed to do that insane thing with a mushroom. How could, how could, is this real? There's no way! There is no way! Is there... I either have to do it perfectly without the mushroom touching me, or somehow let the mushroom go in front of me. Which is probably possible with this on-off block. But I, that doesn't guarantee that the mushroom wouldn't go backwards at the, at the music note block. There's no way you could do it while big. It just isn't possible, I'm sure. 20 hours or not, I don't think- I don't think anyone could do it in 20 hours. No way. <laughs> I'm sure I can learn a rhythm. The mushroom isn't that fast, I just have to learn a rhythm. And then, hopefully the fire bar doesn't fuck me. Joel's gonna fix it? There's no way he's beating this shit again. Why would he want to? I guess a lot of people have beaten it. It would be the difference between, like, barely anyone beating it. 27 people have beaten it. It wouldn't be 27 people if not for the cheese. I don't have to go that fast. God, why am I doing this? I'm gonna practice. I wanna try a couple concepts. If I can learn the rhythm to tap the button without running, it might be harder. Maybe it's easy though. Begin my training montage. <laughs> it is a rhythm game, dude. This might not be the way to go. I don't think I want to do that. As much as walking and tapping at a perfect rhythm is tempting, I uh, I need to just just do it, you know. Oh my God, what is this? Link me to this banger. This should be illegal. That was stupid. That was like, if I ever get through this and then die somehow, I don't know. It, it's not gonna be good. Joel did that three times. How? How did he die? How could you die? What killed him? There's, there's nothing that can kill you after that point. He choked under pressure. I feel like that won't happen to me. Why are you guys saying Kappa? What's so funny? I just don't think it'll happen to me. I'm sort of like a god gamer of sorts. Mario, yo, J Pro for 12 hours straight now, so come at me, bro. Trading in your room on a bang of in hell and I mean to get you ready for that bitch. What the fuck is this? Who sent this? Bada bing bada boom, Mr. Oatmeal as I step in the room. He's a pink guy Kirby. That's a new and his sword's gonna tear through. Meta Knight's Revenge by Jibs. Who the fuck made this? Is this you? Now that Joel's here, he can tell me what's 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 the deal with these red coins, huh? You need them. Oh, okay. Cash money bragging rights. God. So I know you made this level for me and all, but I hope you know deep inside that someone in Super Expert is getting this and they hate you. I gotta practice this. I feel like the walking method is good. It's just so hard. The spikes at the top never kill you ever. I can't believe Joel beat this. Probably be jumping like right here. It's a good thing to stare at though. Maybe I should just do this. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Be fast but consistent. I'm making something fucked up when it when I when I make something for Joel. I gotta get in the mind of like real CBT. But if I don't beat it, then I have no right to make Same another level. As much fun as Joel had beating it. No. Fuck, this is so hard. <sighs> This is hard as fuck. Did you just run and jump the whole time? It's rhythm. That's that's the most fucked, fucked thing I've ever heard. Were you holding the run button or were you doing it like I was practicing it? Run? What do you mean I have no flow? Look at me go. Oh, no holding down way. So just, okay, just right now. That's what I thought. Fuck, that's pretty crazy. I don't know if I'm beating this today. This is the kind of shit that you mentally prepare for all day. And uh, you know what I thought I was streaming today? Fucking Ocarina of Time featuring dipshit Toad. It's impossible. Which is awesome, because it's already hard enough. <laughs> so, for some reason, Joel has turned this into a rhythm game. And I, I just use my, my ultimate brain move, 200 IQ, to beat it. 
but I haven't beaten it the rhythm game method. Oops, I'm dead. Fake, like, troll shit ends up being the reason someone can cheese your level. One time I cheesed a bomb through this, like, impenetrable string thing, took the damage, and then ended up being right at the end of what I'm- what I'm pretty sure was an impossible level otherwise. Until I looked at it in editor and there was still a dev path, it was just way more complex. I'm mad at Joel for allowing the level to be cheesed. <laughs> because now I have to read people talking about shell jumps being cheating. It is a very Joel level. God, I'm so glad you don't need these red coins at the beginning. That would have been the ultimate CBT, is to go down there to the right every fucking time. Whatever that shit is with the star. Yeah, it's, I, I just gotta learn the timing. Apparently it only takes 20 hours to learn the timing. No, why would you donate this to me? Wow. Okay, I'm, I'm alright with it. Oh, I gotta go for world record, that was really fast. Okay, I held up, but sure. I can't believe that you need the mushroom. It was it was so hard without needing the mushroom as well. That's the farthest I've made it doing that method. Alright, I think <laughs> this is gonna have to happen a different day. Joking? I was hoping I'd luck out and uh, Nintendo would catch on to the CBT and then delete the level, but uh, I didn't get lucky. <laughs> didn't luck out. Maybe I'll just be really good at this today. What if I just beat it right now, like literally this attempt? Fuck. God, this game needs quicker resets. That's where SMW ROM hacks spoil you. You can reset immediately. No downtime. I feel like if I do this for three hours, you know, I'll, I gotta beat it in three hours. Like, I'm already familiar with the whole level. It's not blind anymore. It's three hours to get, like, the perfect rhythm down. Just one, It's not like I gotta get it down for the rest of my life. I just gotta do it once. Joel wasn't very happy about my first clear. Understandably so. I really hope when I get to the ice thing, I just first try it. Getting better. Beat it first try. I probably will beat it first try. What's the furthest I've got? Honestly, I've never made it past this first row, but the method for beating this changes after the first row. You can't collect the mushroom, but you can have the mushroom go in front of you. And uh, after the first row, the mushroom goes in front of you. You have to collect the mushroom at the end. After that, the level's easy. Okay, sure, I'm alive. I didn't get that. I'm getting worse, dude. You know what would be a cool option? I feel like it's niche. I don't know how many people would even care about it. But it would be cool if the game highlighted if you could toggle it to highlight only your own deaths and not every death that's happened there. Oh my god. If I beat it within the next hour, I can buy like 16 cheeseburgers. That's probably tr true. I don't really know why that's time restricted. I don't think- I don't know if I'm gonna beat this in an hour. I don't think- I don't even know if I'm gonna beat this- this stream. I'm determined, but like, I'm realistic. This is bullshit. <laughs> The, the task ahead is a complete bullshit. If it takes me more than 20 hours, I'm giving Joel my V card. You don't have to worry about my gamer card. It's not difficult. It's just really hard. And I'm way too good for this. <sighs> it gets easier after that part until the ice. Okay. <laughs> Now that the mushroom's in front of me, I could take it slower. I don't need to be like nearly frame perfect. Oh my god, I would love to beat this now. I don't want to play this all day. I really don't. No! Oh! The pressure was on. I was starting to feel it, dude. It was getting to me. It was getting to me. Alright, 27 minutes for a good attempt. I got this in a few hours, you know, it's no big deal. That was like nearly two in a row getting that far. Getting uh, past the first part. 
Let's go. Let's fucking go. Two attempts. This this close together. Awesome. Let's see if I can beat it this time. <sighs> Maybe I should just get godlike at the rhythm and go through the all three parts with the rhythm. The pressure gets fucking too much. I just need to close my eyes. Incorrect. I should have closed my eyes. You know what? Instead of focusing, I was thinking about do I close my eyes? Thanks, dude. All my problems start with you. I kind of want to get world record on this level before I beat it. Has anyone ever said that before? I want world record. I'm going to go for world record real quick. Fuck, I missed a shell jump. I just want to get world record, dude. What the fuck? I want to get world record so when I beat it without cheating, I can see that someone else already has world record again. Alright, I'm just going to go back to trying to beat this level. Yes. No, I jumped. I swear I was like airborne. Dude, I like, I couldn't blink and hit the button at the same time and I really, I really needed to blink. Yes, let's go. Dude! I come! Three good attempts in one hour. I mean, how could I ask for more? It's, it's really super necessary for me to not stop and think about it and just confidently do the jumps like I know how to do. I feel like it's all about mindset. It's a consistency test. Cool. <laughs> awesome. I didn't think there was any chance that I was going to actually get it a couple times in a row. This way I found to do the beginning part, it, thank fucking god I came up with that. It would take forever to get back here. It already takes long enough to get back here. If ever I land on that first one, I'm, I'm going from trying to beat the level to the world record attempt every time. Do I use a visual cue for the jump timing? Uh, kinda. When it's the... Uh, when I'm jumping from block to block and stopping each time. The visual cue is pretty consistent. It's whenever Toad's Tum Tum, or Toadette's Tum Tum crosses over the, the block line. Aren't those her legs? I don't know, dude. I think that's... I think that's all Tum, dude. It's all Tum Tum. <laughs> Big pink poopa. Yeah. This is world record attempt. Let's go. We gotta get it. No, fuck. I wasn't on that shell, my ass. I have not done it the intended way. I'm getting there though. Sometimes I like to uh, take a, a small mental break and go for world record instead. Oh no, that sucks. I didn't jump. Rip my epic run. <laughs> No, ugh, I jumped anyway. So I'm mad for two reasons. Both realities, I, I would have died. But I'm mad because I didn't die on my own terms. <sighs> no, I can't believe I did that! <laughs> I was focused on the spikes. I wasn't looking at the fire bar at all once I knew I was in the clear. I was in the zone. <laughs> ASMR stream. I can't hear it, obviously, but I know it's got to be the most unpleasant noise of all time. I swear I like go cross-eyed or something. I don't I don't know what I'm I don't even know what I'm focusing on when I'm doing that. Oh dude. I like tried to push the button sooner and something happened to my hand. It's such a weird sensation. Earlier when I said I couldn't blink and push the button at the same time, I'm not sure if I was joking. Sometimes that's like I'm trying to hit the button, but it it there's like a, a unwanted hesitation. Almost an hour in. Fuck! I'm gonna tell you all about my amazing, cool, uh, plan to eat a hundred mega balls per second. <laughs> my mouth is mega balls all day. Mmm. 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 My balls. Mm, balls in my mouth. And balls everywhere. And balls go there. Hello, I'm Simple Flips, and I advocate eating a million balls per minute. And, uh, that's that. And I hope you all have a good day. And, uh, balls in my mouth. This is why I like, hey everybody, it's me, Mega Balls. And I like Mega Balls. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look, I don't know why I think that clip of me just talking normally was funny. <sighs> I was literally a frame late on the input. Like, I could feel that in my fucking jiggly bones. Oh shit. The creepy pasta hacks are back, dude. Ah, uh, dude, the worst thing about dying is Toadette. Toadette always shows you her booze. 
as she's dying. That's not what I want to think about. I don't want anything to do with that. <laughs> Every time Toadette dies, she goes, MY PUSSY! <laughs> and I can relate to that. It sucks. <laughs> I would way prefer to see Toad's fat, humongous cock flying across the screen every time he died. Fuck, I haven't gotten across this in forever. Toad's conk? Hello? Yes? Dude, seeing conk made me really excited. I've been saying conk a lot lately. Like, I've been really just on a conk binge. So when I saw conk, I was... I was ready to conk. Like, yeah, I've been in a conk funk. Dude, daft conk low. <laughs> Are you serious? You're gonna hit me with a daft conk immediately after I just announced what I love the most in this world? Can I use conk in a sentence? Daft conk, hello. The whole sentence, that's the subject, conk, the predicative of the sentence. I looked up conk on Urban Dictionary because like, I was in bed some nights ago and I was just like, man, I really like this word conk. I had to look it up because like, what if it's offensive or something? You know, words are just offensive. You don't even know sometimes. I was in the clear, like it wasn't racist or anything against my knowledge. So I'm conking all day long. The definitions on there were pretty ridiculous. And I think, I think one of the definitions for conk was actually awesome, which was like, when someone blows your mind and destroys your penis, kunk. Like, I don't know what that means, but I felt kunked just reading that. I was kunked just because I read the words. I don't even know what that means. Fuck. I'm not joking though. I, I literally was in bed. I was like on my phone and I was just like, you ever like learn a new word and you just say it a lot. You say it all the time. Like I, I, I just be like, true that, true that. True dat all the time. Every, no matter what people said, true dat. So they, they started calling me true dat. That's how I was with Kunk. Fuck! God, the design of like, the fact that he made it so you had to do the identical sections differently. I have to give him credit. He's a dickhead. But you know, it's pretty clever. That mushroom shit's clever. No, come on. I haven't gotten to the ice once yet. That was a, that was a really good attempt. That That's the kind of attempt that makes me feel like I'm gonna fucking beat this ever i was trying so hard to not overthink it i was talking about other stuff which i is like completely necessary if i'm sitting there not talking you know i'm fucked because i'm 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 so like nervous if i'm sitting there focusing that hard i have to be saying something unrelated every star road pb of my life i was playing out of my mind and talking about dumb shit when i took the game seriously never got a run i always talk about dumb shit dude takes the edge off I haven't been here in what feels like ages. No, I just wanted to try the ice. I just wanted to try it. I just wanted to try it once. Oh, I just wanted to try it. Belligator, holy shit. God, I hate feeling that way. I just wanted to try it. The whole time I was thinking, just get to the ice, just get to the ice, please. I just want to try the ice once. I need to know. Dude, I just remembered. Does anyone here drink Bang, the energy drink? It's gross. It is very kind of gross, but there are flavors that I really like. A lot of the flavors are, and I don't want to insult anyone's preferred flavor, but they're just disgusting. Sour Heads? Sour Heads was a mistake. That should not be an energy drink flavor. Uh, cotton candy, does that sound delicious to you? It isn't, it's really not. No, oh, that's the worst. 90 minutes have gone by and I've gotten pretty close to the ice thing. Some sick twisted part of me thinks I'm gonna first try the ice thing. Kinda wanna practice it. Uh, let me, let me take a small break and practice something. I'm gonna get to that ice. So I'm gonna be standing on the ice block. Like I'm gonna basically land on it. Which, in itself, might be a challenge. Oh my god! Hello! So, what I did just then, is I held run when I started, and then let go of run after I jumped on the first thing. Ceiling spikes don't matter. I have not a single time died to a ceiling spike. Oh my god, this is gonna be killer. I was about to get to the ice section. I think I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna beat this level. I I really appreciate the music tonight, guys. I knew that this level was gonna be mentally grating, and uh, been like a lot of good music tonight. My my homies can vouch for me that before I started streaming, I was like, I'm just gonna try and stay in a positive mood, listen to some good music, hopefully, and not get mad at the level. Fuck. I really think I'll beat it in the next hour and a half, honestly. I'm glad people are saying kunk. This is like what I wanted when I brought up kunk. The other people were on board with Kunk. Kunk cost fallacy is so good to me. Or uh, Kunk cost fallacy. 
But I think this level is good. You have to appreciate what the man who was making this level, what his intentions and what his goals were when making it. So when you ask me, is this level good? I have to consider the factors. Did Joel aim to make a level that anyone who played it would hate? Yes, he did. Did Joel aim to make a level filled with misdirection, an unclear goal, and complete bullshit? Absolutely, he nailed it. He went out and accomplished everything he wanted to do when he made this level. So, it fulfills the goal. I think the level's a piece of shit. I think it's awful. <laughs> Fuck, I jumped so early on that one. Is it weird that an ice cream truck circles your apartment at 8 p.m.? Yeah, I mean, that's pretty fucking weird. How is it doing that? Is this the longest ice cream truck of all time? That's my joke for the stream. I hope you liked it. I don't really have more jokes like that ready to go. <laughs> that's all I've got. Uh, I'm really so already sick of this level. I need a good attempt. I need to get past this fucking first row or I'm gonna have a stroke. It, when you don't get it for a really long time, it's so demoralizing. Why am I play this level? The real reason why I have to play this level is because Joel will have a belt instead of me if I don't beat it. I'm about to beat this level this attempt, so I can't deal with your your dumb shit vesting. Dickhead. Dickhead. Hey, vesting, thank you for the $20. Dickhead. <laughs> the timing. Thank you so much. Dickhead. Appreciate it a lot, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> no! <sighs> Cockballs. God damn it. <sighs> I was so far. Damn. I wonder if Joel just saw how far I was. Am I winning? Dude, I just got past this first row two times in a row. Make it three. Never mind. Joel spent like 20 hours on this, so uh, really I'm on pace. Although, did that include the time it took for him to build the level? No. Cool. That's what I want to hear. <laughs> Yeah, this seems like a three hour level. Damn, that sounds like an insult, doesn't it? Fuck. I think like a, my rhythm isn't perfect, so I'm doing like little micro adjustments and then starting over my rhythm occasionally. I, I, I swear I go cross-eyed sometimes just trying to focus on that. I would love to beat this right now. I won't, but you know. Wouldn't that be cool? To release me from this hell? Nope. It is so perfectly constructed if you think about it. The level of stress and pressure you feel as you get closer and closer to the end, it is masterful. I fucking can't stand the way it makes me feel. I knew it. I, I actually knew that it was gonna fail. I wasn't far left enough. God damn, I, why did I do that? I have this, I gotta keep going mentality towards it and it fucks me sometimes. Because you have to keep going. If you start feeling the pressure, that, I think that was panic. Two in a row? Hello? I'm gonna get so good at this that I can make a full fucking length level of it and send it to Joel. Your turn. Kunk? Dude! Joel saying kunk? He's on- he's on kunk board? Joel saying kunk? Knowing that another- another kunker brother is father? <laughs> no, I deserve that. Two attempts in a row. Dude, Joel's sweating. I, d I can't really tell you what nice. kunk means. I just like- I've been enjoying thing I don't I don't really have a meaning for it I just like to say it is it an insult it can be I feel like it can be an insult I feel like it's kunk kunk and ball torture <laughs> have you guys ever played ratchet and kunk when you were growing up getting kunked getting kunked is a good use of it good example sentence kunkers fat kunk day hell yeah I like to think that everyone can have their own personal version of what kunk means to them it's such a perfect combination of noises that come out of your mouth it's like your own personal journey have you said kunk lately you'd be surprised feels gross to say you well like i said everyone has their own personal journey when when it comes to kunk yours sucks dick <laughs> your kunk journey sucks dunk dude uh, and you know that's okay because everyone has their own personal experience with the word kunk god damn it it was kind of greed i just when I, when I get past the beginning, I'm not playing the level anymore. I'm playing my own mental mindset and what is, it, what is necessary for me to be able to focus in a very specific way that allows me to not get all antsy and nervous. And that time it was, can I keep up with the mushroom? <laughs> is what was going on in my heart. Right, I'm going for world record because this is fast beginning. Are you kidding? What the fuck? I'm mad. Get out of my way, bitch. 
No, I wanted to drop down and then land on that. Trying to beat this level fast is hard. Like, even with the cheese, it's just hard because it's a little bit awkward. Sorry, right, that wasn't a beating the challenge attempt. That was getting world record attempt. Normally shouldn't be a different thing, but in this level, <laughs> and under these circumstances, it's a different thing for some reason. Fuck. The song's BPM was so close to exactly what I wanted that I just started doing it instead. That's like the first time I feel like I wasn't able to ignore the music. Dude, this music's fucking me up! I've been doing this for two hours and it's never happened until now! I've been listening to music the whole time! What- what changed? What- the song is fucking perfect, I swear it is. <laughs> this song is fucking me up. I don't know- it has to be the song. I don't know why it's different. Dip, burn, dip, burn, dip. You ever have one of those dreams where a basketball is rolling down the road? All the kids are playing. You think, I'm gonna play basketball with these fucking kids too. You pick up the ball, and you look at the ball, and you look at the ball and it's Joel. The ball is Joel, and he's your dad. And it's just another one of those dreams. dreams, dreams. One time I saw my dad. The fucking ice block make me mad. The level's driving me insane. But Joel's voice won't go away. Fuck! <laughs> Dude, Joel, earlier this fire bar killed me standing right here. Can you fucking believe that? Okay. Okay. First time I've ever been here. No, oh, I made it to three of them. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> what a fucking rush. <laughs> oh fuck. What a what a rush of emotions. God, dude, I can't, I can't lie. I failed, but it felt so good. I I don't know what feeling that is. Holy shit. That is I I fucked up, but it it felt so good. That was something. It must be because it's been two hours and I never got there a single time. So like, that was the kunk in my bloodstream. Oh man, now I'm like jittery. That fucked me up. It's gonna be it's gonna be a while before I get to fill that again. I gotta keep going now. That that revitalized me, dude. I knew it. I knew it. Ugh. This was a guilty pleasure song for a long time. Guilty pleasure, huh? What constitutes a guilty pleasure song? Like you're embarrassed that you like it? Is that the idea behind that? Dude, there's this there's this one song. It, it's super guilty pleasure, especially when I when I tell you that the only reason I ever found the song is because it was on Osu, and I just happened to play it randomly. So it's like double guilty pleasure when you realize how much of a nerd I am. <laughs> I don't remember what it's called, but <laughs> it goes not gonna get us. <laughs> And you know, I really felt that. <laughs> I used to say that all the time. <laughs> yeah, top two. I couldn't remember what it was. I knew it wasn't Toto, but I knew it was similar. That song's a banger right there. What? I had such a good running start. Oh my god. Do I know the name of the bloopers? You named the bloopers? Of course you did. What am I, who am I talking to? Carl, Billy, and Todd. Nice. But which one do I shoot? I don't like that I'm getting excited again. Fuck. I honestly, I feel like if I get over that one, I'm gonna have the rhythm down. It just takes a moment to get to the rhythm. I think I'll be able to react if I get past the second one. Oh, fuck. I wish you guys would just let, try to experience this for yourself. It's something else. Time slows to a halt. It's like, you're when you're doing that beginning part, you, I, you know, like, you can see the frames, dude. I know Joel has to relate. He would he did this for so long. Oh no, Ugh. dude, Joel. I saw the ice. It was the first time I actually saw it. Like I got really close to the bottom before I died. So I made a like a small practice thing. Like how am I supposed to handle the ice? What buttons am I supposed to push? Do I run? Like I wanted to know. I fucking first tried the ice thing I made. It was like eight jumps, and now here I am. 
Oh, I almost went backwards under the spike. <sighs> okay. I fucking did it! Okay. I can't fucking believe I got- I made it through. What a thrill, dude! I am stressed. I didn't know I was this invested. Did- that didn't happen. <laughs> did you guys see that momentum that just happened despite me holding neutral? Uh, oh my god. I didn't hold any buttons, I just started moving to the right. Luckily I am the CBT master. I did get a little cunked. Ugh, I feel like shit now. I feel like I beat it, but then I didn't beat it, despite having beat it. Cunk beat this level. Uh oh. Some flips. As you're about to beat this, as big brain Uno player number one would usually do, and as you proudly bragged about, uh, I'm gonna ask you right now, uh, how do you feel? I feel... That's fucking hecka gross, dude. <laughs> I knew it. Well, shut your mouth. I feel like I'm a fucking warrior, and I can consistently do anything I want, Joel! You're a cunk. You're a cunk. Something unlocked in me, dude. I just understood the level all of a sudden. I needed to fall like that. That was the problem. Please don't hit me. Oh no, I'm dead. Uh, why didn't I just go and damage boost? I got fucking magic hooped. I don't think I choked that time. I'm not too worried about it. I uh, I feel like I understand all the individual parts. I changed up the method I was using to jump between block to block, not from the beginning part. I think it got a lot easier, a lot more consistent. I mean, it's still so easy to mess up, but. Dude, I'm gonna be able to take my new found abilities from playing this level and fucking cheese other levels with it. I feel like the ice isn't that hard, but it is incredibly stressful. I don't think it's I don't think it's any like increase in difficulty. I just think it's very stressful. Okay. That's three. <laughs> How am I gonna die this time? Okay, so this time I'm gonna I wanna spawn the magic hoop and have it. I wanna I wanna kill it over here so the thing that happened last time doesn't happen again. Uh, I'm afraid. I'm just gonna ignore it. I don't think it's gonna kill me again. Yes. That's a good feeling. That's a good feeling. It's, it's, I don't know what I feel. It's good though. I'm glad I did this today. He had bested the impossible level. And though his cock and balls may have been sore, his spirit had never felt lighter. We saved Christmas! Well, that's it for this video. If it wasn't obvious, a lot of love and care went into this one, so liking, commenting, uh, honestly, would do so much for us if you made it this far. And if you could subscribe as well, that would just be awesome. This is the most effort we've put into a video in a very long time, and I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and that it was worth the effort. Happy Holidays.